happy, happy Saturday morning. Get ready to go to the farmer's market. I'm gonna visit with my aqua aerobics instructor. She sets up there and sells jewelry and maybe buy some apple cider. I don't know what yet. Then we have to go and get some cat food because Kitty has the rest of her cat food in a bowl right now and it ain't gonna last very long. So I gotta go get her a big bag somewhere today. Looks bruised right here, but I think it's just a shadow. I don't know. But okay, it is 58 degrees. I just put my thermal back on over my shirt like I did yesterday. And heading out. Okay, I did not I did not vlog at the farmer's market. <laughs> I was visiting. So as soon as we got there, the first booth was one of my friends, Mary Jane. She does glass etching and stuff like that. And then I stopped, I got produce. I got me a, a melon, cantaloupe. I got me a gallon of apple cider. I got me some pears. I got me some, these little pepper things and some cucumbers. And I just, produce and I, you know, I can't help it. So, and then I visited with my aqua aerobics instructor, who I haven't seen in a while because I haven't been to the pool. Um, she sells jewelry, so I can't talk to her. We're at one of the produce stands we like. There was a cute little kitty just up there, but. Hey, she's got tomatoes. You want a couple of them? Yeah. Okay. So we're out here getting tomatoes and spoiled. See you, Matt. My job, yeah. lately. Uh, oh, she's closing them now, it looks like. Or she's closing some of them. But... We're at a place called Silver Beach, but we're gonna go in the restaurant. It's a little cool out here on the porch. Lake Michigan's over that way. There's the hompa. We just got our pizza. There's the ad. Mm. Jack and Jared came here with us one time. We got pizza here. Okay, we're gonna eat. We're outside of pet. Oh, she's got a little white doggy. Oh, he's excited. He knows he's going to the pet store. We're outside of PetSmart. Dad went in to get a big bag of cat food which I'm gonna put in the new bin I bought for the cat food just so it could sit right in the kitchen next to where she eats. Dad's like, that's good. That's so much better than how we used to do it. Cause he used to be in the back room in this little thing and he goes, it'll be so much easier. <laughs> um, our pizza was really good, um, but we just couldn't sit out in the patio. With the, all those windows open, it was cool out there. And so we were inside and once we got inside, we're like, oh, this is so much better. <laughs> Even though you couldn't see out, it was just, warmer because we knew as soon as our pizza come it'd get cold really fast there were still a lot of people sitting out on the patio though I know when people had them pull the one end one down oh the dog is going potty he's on point um but now we're here today's also my cousin Rudy's birthday so happy birthday to Rudy is 24 now can you all believe it 24 uh, what else am I going to say? <gasps> another dog! There's another cute dog. Heading over towards the other dog. I love parking outside of PetSmart because you always see the critters. I love me the critters. But alright. I will show you my veggies I bought when I get home at the farmer's market. We have more in here. We bought some um, grape tomatoes at the one stand that we stopped at and then dad got some acorn squash so we got the produce i am back we're at gordon's number dos the first one did not have well it had the jalapeno variety but not the regular and dad just went, they have it on sale the cornbread that we were, we stopped to get cornbread a sheet of it i I'd break it down and put it in a gallon zip like back to put it in the freezer that way we pop it out if we want it it's almost like cake it's like a sweet cornbread. He, we went to the one in Ben Harbor and he comes out and he goes, all they had was jalapeno and it's on sale this week. And we got here, he goes, if all they have is jalapeno, I'm getting one. I don't care. <laughs> but he wants to get one of each. But if all they have is jalapeno, I'll break it down for him because he knows I won't eat it. It's not my thing. I just like, I don't want that taste in it. And they started doing rotisserie chickens here at Gordon's. Rotisserie chicken, $5. We're now in Mishawaka, Indiana. Um, and we're just tootling around. I'm debating, I wanna get a sweet treat. I don't know if I wanna to go to Ritter's 
and get a thing that's very similar to a peanut butter parfait. Or if I want to go to Portillo's and get a chocolate cake shake. Or, I don't know. I just don't know. I guess we'll find out when it happens. I went with Ritter's. Dad wanted nothing. He didn't want anything sweet right now. Well, what did you buy? Sweet cornbread. <laughs> but he never got himself a jalapeno one because I told them all oh, you're probably going to come out with two. No, I he didn't. He just got one. one. Yeah. Now when I get home, I got to break it down and put it in the freezer. Very, very good. You never got, if you like good sweet cornbread, it's really, really good. Put a little butter on it, put it in the microwave, warm it up a little bit. Or it's like better. me, I like it cold out of the refrigerator. It's better than cake, believe me. I'd rather have it cake anyway. Yeah. Okay, back to my ice cream photo melt. This is my farmer's market stuff. Well, we have leftover pizza. And I got me two chocolate chip cookies and a cinnamon roll and dad a cinnamon roll. We're gonna have those for dessert later. We got some of these at one of the farmer's market. Uh, got some of these. I love, love the little cukes. And some pears. And these are little peppers, they're sweet. Um, now I gotta get them all washed and put in the fridge to chill. There's a cantaloupe, but it's already out in the refrigerator. And back here, is a big bag of cat food. I'm going to get Kitty's new container and wipe it out. Since it's new, it's never been used. I want to wipe it out. And I'm going to fill it up with this 22 pounds. And then over here, I have a cornbread. I got to get ready for the freezer. Here's Kitty's little cat food bin I got her. Um, it like seals really well. It holds 25 pounds. We just put 22 pounds in there just fine gonna roll over here against the front wall so she is set for a while it's Sunday just got on some clean threads Kitty's still sleeping and just got called in for a project well not a project a mission my cousin's like my cousin Ron the one I'm in business with said go said what are you doing I'm like just home you know Leo want to take a ride up here <laughs> And bring the company checkbook. I'm like, sure, what are we buying? Another truck. Um, so, we're heading up there. Got my checkbook right here. And uh, I had no plans on going anywhere today, but he changed it. I was just doing work. I would just shut off the computer and the phone rang. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I just got done doing work. And then you called. Do you want to go over to sleep and I'm keeping you awake? Okay. We're rolling out. Mason's giving us what for. We just got here to my cousin's house. He's like, what are you doing out there? She, she. We're getting ready to see what we got to do. Taking a ride over here is a lake called Dewey Lake. But look at these people's tree. They put bird houses on top of an old tree they had cut down. Oh, there's a car coming. I got to get over. All right. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, here's Dewey Lake. Oh, Dewey Lake. I used yep. to fish that in the winter time. I fish in. There's a little bitty road going along it. Houses, little cottages. That people will probably be buckling up for the winter here in a few weeks. Yep, Ron said here in a few weeks, all the people out there use that. Most of them's all gone. Yeah. It's so nice and quiet out there then. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn her off now. What would a drive be without stopping at a farm stand? Yeah. I didn't plan on stopping. Dad's like, they still have sweet corn here. I'm going to go in and get a couple ears. I said, buy four. Two for you, two for me. Okay. So he's off getting corn. If it looks nice. This time of year, it's a little bit wormy, but he cut out little spots. I'm drinking a sweet tea. We're just down the road from uh, some friends of his. So we're going to stop and see if they're home. Where his friend Mike, who passed away, his wife Andy, her house. Um, and her daughter and husband just bought the property next to her, and they're going to build a house right next to her, so that'll be nice. So, yeah, we're just out and about. Uh, I saw the truck that we bought because it was along the road, well, parked back by this business. The guy had bought it thinking he was going to go into the business and then never use the truck, so it's a uh, tanker a pump truck it's got the pump tank and everything on it so I wrote Ronnie out the check 
and he's going to go pick it up in about an hour. So, yeah, another truck in our fleet. We've got a, we've got a couple trucks down right now, so we need another truck. Although we won't get on the road for a while because you got to get all this paperwork through the state for pumper, septic, all this crap. Uh, now delivery trucks and stuff like that, no, but anything that hauls septic, it takes a while. But all right, bye. Well, tonight I'm doing salads for us. While well, Dad's out mowing, I'm gonna get them prepared. Yay! There we are, salad with a little bit of grilled chicken. There's Diaz. He's gonna have a raspberry vinaigrette, and I'm gonna have a Western dinner. A mosquito got me right there on my fat chin today. I haven't got bit this season. Mosquitoes haven't really got me until today, and I got one on my arm. Nah. I'm gonna put all these together, get them uploaded. I'm gonna go watch Netflix after it's uploaded. That's the one thing I don't like about what I'm doing on my iPhone is when you're uploading, you can't use your iPhone for anything. It has to be left alone. <laughs> so, see you all later.